This is where Molag Bal oversaw the 99 lovers of Boethia that gave birth to Almalexia, mother of Morrowind. That's pretty fucking wild. <laughs> what the fuck? Boethia was just fucking 99 different people, and they all birthed out different parts of Almalexia, and meanwhile, Molag Bal was just watching? Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Morrowind Mondays. It's the very first Morrowind Mondays of the new year. The uh, first one of 2018, and honestly, uh, no matter how many more we do ahead of this that are the first of the year, I don't think you can get much more first of the year than this one, which is um, the very first day of 2018. Oh my goodness. I hope you had a fantastic... Um, New Year's Eve or uh, New Year's Day, perhaps you're still celebrating or you've already celebrated if you're looking at this in the future or if you're in the far future, my goodness, I hope 2018 uh, is a is a good year. Hopefully it has been. Wow. Hopefully uh, those, those, you know, I don't know if you knew about this, but there, uh, there might be aliens. Well, there might be aliens that we know about. We may have found some aliens. I don't know if you heard about the aliens. That's pretty fucking crazy, right? What the fuck? That's pretty wild. Hopefully they don't get us. <laughs> I don't want to get got. Anyway, uh, without fur any further ado, though, let's uh, be off on our merry way. We're going to head on over to uh, old Mr. Serioni's place. Get a brand spanking new quest. Look, the sun is real freaking beautiful. You can see the trees in the distance from the uh, West Gash region. Oh my gosh, look at all that. What a silhouette. What a beautiful silhouette. Oh, and uh, by the way, you'll remember in between videos we set a mark and recall down there, and you know what? We uh, we made good use of it. We cleared out all of um, the goodies, all of the woot loot from Sheogorath's shrine. We went there back and Where forth, back and forth know? again. Oh my gosh, it was, it was a real fucking task. It was, uh, we had a, a lot on our plate to, to handle and to take back to sell, but we did it. Well, I mean, I guess, honestly, we didn't do all of it. <laughs> if I'm being, if I'm being honest and frank, uh, what we did is we traded off a lot of smaller stuff, but a lot of the more expensive Please, things, we just kind of laid torch. down by the old enchanter inside, uh, Underscar that we've been to before. And that's because, you know, it's a, it's a good idea to leave it there. What you do is you, you open up the if barter you menu, talk, I would you, you check out their uh, their current uh, payload of gold, and you, you uh, you've got that little uh, bit of loot loot there on the floor, and you just trade it to them. You just do an instant cash in. You cash in all your loot loots for a nice enchantment after the fact, but uh, you know you got to have that starting uh, stipend, that starting uh, capital. Of, of gold to get things rolling along and then you can trade it back in and get a nice uh, bit of, of uh, enchanting going on with a 100% guarantee. Oh, and look at that! Speaking, uh, noticing that we leveled up, well, we, uh, we leveled up in a big way. We didn't just level up some skills, we leveled up our entire character. We, I, I did a bit of training because I noticed, hey, we're pretty darn close to a level up in uh, when I was doing all that trading, well, you know, Leveled up Mercantile quite a bit. So, I believe, look at this. We've got our personality maxed out, and Willpower is getting up there. Willpower will probably be the next on the list, and then last but not least will be Luck. Well, I mean, maybe maybe it is pretty least. Uh, but we've, we also uh, got a few enchantments, but before we talk about that, let's talk to old Mr. Tholer Serio. May you find me worthy of your attention. All right, yeah. Have you completed the pilgrimages of the Four Corners? Yes, we have. You have finished the pilgrimages of the Four Corners of the House of Troubles. I may have more duties for you. All right, well, can we get any advancement? Oh my gosh. Look, the temple recognizes you, Lyle. You are now Lyle, the master. Oh my goodness. Fucking Ash Ketchum has got nothing on me. Duties. You have completed the pilgrimages of the Four Corners. Now, you should know the enemies of the temple. I ask only one more thing. You must recover the Ebony Mail. Oh my god. Alright, the Ebony Mail. Tell me what I must do, Tholer Serioni. The Ebony Mail may be found on Mount Asar Nabibi, which is north of Molog Mar. 
Mount Asarnabibi is where Molag Bal oversaw the 99 lovers of Boethia that gave birth to Almalexia? What the fuck? What? <laughs> uh, yeah, go, go there and pray before the shrine. If you are worthy, you will receive the ebony mail. Return it to me and I will make you the patri patriarch of the temple. Yeah, so that's the final step in our ascendant, uh, our, what would you call it, ascendation? No, our, our, uh, ascent in the temple. Yeah, what can I do for you, master? Ooh, Thol, are you calling me master? Oh, man. Where's the whips? Holy shit. All right. Well, let's get on over there to, uh, well, here, let's, let's wait until it's nice and bright out. We want it to be a nice day when we're traveling. Let's see here. Let's, um... Actually, let's see. Is it is it showing up on our big map here? It should... Yeah, I think that's it right there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that, that ain't too bad. We'll just travel on over to the uh, the Silt Strider because it, it might be daytime by the time we get over there. But anyway, you know, remember we got that fantastic uh, Daedric Tower Shield, which was quite the fucking blessing. And you know what? We spent a real fucking good in, uh, bit of time considering what exactly to put on and honestly I came up with the, the greatest enchantment of all and it's gonna be real fucking helpful and it's extremely useful and you're gonna be real amazed when you see it and you know what as soon as we get over here you know I'm so excited I was gonna wait until daytime to show it off but you know what here it is in all of its glory look we're gonna even be able to test the enchantment right here look do you remember what what I said we would put on it huh that's right, it's... It's Gordon, everybody! It's fucking Gator Guy Gordon! Oh my gosh, from the Plains of Oblivion! He's here with only his loincloth, and and he is ready to fucking rumble. Our, our newest best friend for life, Gator Guy Gordon. Oh my god, Gordon is looking snazzy as hell with his strange duck-like feet that have bones going all the way through. Here, let's test Gordon in combat. Gordon! I command you to fight this crab! Do it, Gordon! Get him, Gordon! Get the crab! What the fuck, Gordon? You fucking suck, man. Here, Gordon. There you go! Yeah! Beat that crab's ass! Oh my god, look, Gordon is the ultimate crab killer! Hot damn, Gordon. Looking fucking dope and fly as shit. Look, a diseased mud crab, even. He fought it with poison. That's like fighting fire with fire. But, uh, as you can see, we have, uh, Gordon, Gordon, Gordon is, is the name of the shield now. The beautiful Daedric Tower Shield. Uh, we have put Summon Daedroth on it, a constant effect. And, because, you know, this is technically the only item in the entire game that can hold a constant effect of Summon Daedroth. But at the same time, Summon Daedroth doesn't take that much room that the, uh, <laughs> the shield has to offer. So I just decided, eh, you know what would round it out nicely? I think it filled it all the way to the brim of its enchantment capacity. The uh, Restore Fatigue, because, you know, we're going to be taking it on and off again. And uh, the reason why we'll be, why, why we'll be uh, unequipping and re-equipping this, uh, uh, this beautiful shield here is because look at this. Gordon is really slow! Oh my gosh, Gordon is such a slow poke! So, to counteract that, I have this chitin shield, which is uh, the lowest weight shield in the entire game. And we're just gonna pop it on and off. And you know what? Every time, Gordon comes back. Gordon can't be fucking killed. Gordon is probably immortal or something. I don't know. Isn't that how Daedra work? When you summon Daedra, they, when they die, they actually just get banished back to uh, the Plains of Oblivion. My god. What Plane of Oblivion do you think Gordon is from? I don't know. I mean... I Hmm, maybe he's not from one specific plane. I mean, isn't the whole idea that the planes oh, aren't actually separate dimensions? But really, the planes of Oblivion are little subsections of Oblivion as a whole. They're like a, a neighborhood. See, look. Where the fuck are you, Gordon? Gordon can't even cross by water. I don't know. Gordon's swim speed is like fucking nil. Good lord. Come to me, Gordon. There we are. <laughs> God, this... <laughs> What a stupid fucking a waste of a beautiful shield. But damn it, I fucking love it. I love you, Gordon. I do it for you. I did it for you, Gordon. Let's get out of here. Let's go to Molagmar and be on our fucking way. Good God. Yeah, don't, uh... If you're... 
If you're in the... Oh my god, Gordon is <laughs> sucking me off! What the hell, Gordon? Man, you know exactly how to cheer me up! <laughs> Just suck me up with your razor-sharp teeth like a fucking hacksaw in there! My god! <laughs> Fuck's sake, Gordon! Take it easy there, pal! <laughs> Oh, Jesus. All right, let's wait until it's a little light out, because we're going to Mario time the crap out of this. Let's see. Let's go, uh, probably 8 in the morning should be good enough. Yeah, there we go. It's a beautiful, foggy-ass-looking day. Wow. All right, let's pull out good old Mario time. There we go. Look at fucking Gordon. Gordon's going to be fucking shitting his pants when he sees my abilities. Look at Gordon. He sometimes, when, he, when Gordon does his Gordon walk... It kind of looks like he's got either to take a big old dump, or maybe he's just got some big old, like, schlanga coiled up within him. Because you notice, Gordon is kind of like an alligator guy. He's a gator guy, right? But, uh, where's his tail? That's, that's something I'm wondering. Where's Gordon's tail? You know what? I think maybe it's rolled up inside of him, and it kind of extends a bit. <laughs> It erects itself. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Let's not think too much about Gordon's undercarriage there. All right, let's bring up the old world tracker here, because we're about to do some big sweet-ass jumps and say goodbye to Gordon. Gordon, look at me go. I'm like fucking Kiki's Delivery Service over here. Have you ever seen that movie, Gordon? Oh, my goodness. Studio Ghibli or whatever the heck. Oh, my God. Wow. What a time to be alive. Jesus. Oh, good lord. Gordon, come to me! Fight off these cliff racers! You know what to do! Look at Gordon go! Look! Wow, I think Gordon's kind of hitting me. I'm not sure if Gordon can friend- Oh my gosh, Gordon is actually taking them out! Gordon, do it! Get him! Fuck him up! Holy shit, look at Gordon go! Oh my god, he took a big bite out of that one! God damn, Gordon, you're doing great! You're doing great! Terrible thing is, though, is we'll never know what uh, Gordon's health is. <laughs> we do, we're just never gonna fucking know. And look, I accidentally drank a health potion when I meant to drink a, uh, a mana potion. Jesus, what a grave error. Alright, let's leap on over to here. Good lord. We didn't have to take some sort of fucking sacrifice, huh? I mean, we could always sacrifice Gordon right here. Or maybe we have to make love to like 99 people here and, and give birth. How do you think that worked? How the fuck do you think that even... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe Almalexia was just like a puzzle piece baby. She was a puzzle piece of a baby, like a, a like 99 pregnant ladies gave birth to a different piece of Almalexia. And uh-oh, it was like a real Humpty Dumpty of a situation. Someone had to put her all together. And you know what? When she came out, oh my gosh, she was a real asshole. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, spoilers, but... She turned out to be a real fucking battle axe, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see. Wow, look at this. How many have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, maybe... Eh. I mean, I was kind of expecting eight. I mean, maybe... Did I miscount? Three, six, seven. No, maybe we're number eight. I mean, I, I guess you could count these, and that'd be nine. Eh. Oh, oh well. All right. Asarna BB Shrine. Let's do it. This is where Molag Bal oversaw the 99 lovers of Boethia that gave birth to Almalexia, mother of Morrowind. That's pretty fucking wild. <laughs> what the fuck? Boethia was just fucking 99 different people, and they all birthed out different parts of Almalexia. And meanwhile, Molag Bal was just watching? What the fuck? Were they making some kind of weird Daedric prince of a porno? What the hell was going on? Why was he just watching this happen? Maybe it was, um... Maybe he wasn't watching him, you know, getting it on. But maybe instead, uh, old, uh, Molag Bal was actually helping to deliver the child. Maybe Molag Bal is actually some sort of, like, certified paramedic. Or some shit like that. And was helping deliver the, the babies. And, you know, maybe he was figuring out how to cut the umbilical cords to all 99 pieces of Almalexia. And had to assemble them all together. Or maybe it was that Molag Bal was actually just, like, a fucking master puzzle smith. And could know all about all these fucking ancient intricacies of putting together puzzles. Should we actually investigate this place here? What is this damn place? Ne Nehar Dooms? I, I don't know. I don't know if we should come into this place. This might be some sort of ancient vampire lair. I can't rightly recall. 
Let's see, what else is all up here? Oh shit, there's a gigantic ass ballistae. Man, look at that. Too bad we can't jump on there and fire ourselves off. I mean, we got slow fall. I wouldn't mind to unlock a new form of fast travel. Could you imagine that? Hot damn. Look at all these. Got some big old tubes. What do you think it's aimed at? Look at that. It's aimed right at, like, um... I don't know, where Molog Mar is, I guess. Or... Zane... Zane... Tirararis. That's a Daedric Shrine. That was probably there long ago when this was still, uh, popping off. You know what? Let's head on inside. If we see a vampire, maybe we'll run out all scared and shit. Let's quick save out here, just to make sure. We can have Gordon with us as well. Gordon will be our protector. I'm into the idea of exploring these ruins. Oh, look. Gordon, it's actually just a fucking sweet-ass robot area. Damn, Gordon. Look at this. Look, we just one-shot these fucking little dudes. Gordon, are you impressed as hell? Because I fucking am. Look at this. Oh gosh, I can't even... Gordon, you're in the way. Damn, dog. Alright. Oh, look. Some scrap metal. Ugh. Really not worth it, but I don't think we actually have any. Alright, we're taking it. Look at this. Look, it's some sort of ancient Dwemer trap. Ooh! No? Nothing? Is this guy mad? Can you see him? Here, let's turn on the lights. There we go. Gordon, can you see? I don't know if you if you can make out this guy because you don't have a sweet night eye spell. Oh, check it out! Look, this guy's boogieing down! Look at him go! Whoa! Oh man. Well, we're gonna have to destroy him. Is this is this dude pissed? This guy doesn't seem very mad at me. <laughs> look at this fucking guy. Gordon! Have a look at this guy! What do you what the fuck are you doing, Gordon? <laughs> Man, maybe, maybe they're both trapped. Maybe we were supposed to have some kind of sweet Pokemon battle. I don't know. Gordon, I don't think of you as a Pokemon. Oh, shit, look. Look, we're gonna... Oh, fight him! Fuck him up, Gordon! Shit! Gordon, I don't think he's gonna... Poison's gonna work against him. He's kind of a metal man. I don't know if Poison does too well. Look, Gordon can heal himself up or some shit. He's like fortifying his luck or something. Oh my god, Gordon got the bitch slapped out of him. Gordon! No! There, Gordon! Gordon is back again! Back to fuck him up! Good lord, Gordon, you're you're really not doing too great. Stop using the poison, I don't think it's gonna do it. It's not effective. It's 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 not effective at all. Yeah, more lightning. Throw some more lightning out. There you go, Gordon. Nice! Gordon, you did it! Oh, it only took you dying once to to finally get him down, but wow. I'm proud of you, Gordon. You did great. You did a good thing here today. Look, we'll just wipe out the rest of these so fucking easily. Gordon, I'm, I'm glad you could be along for this, and you could check out all these fantastic things that we're doing. Man. Good lord. Who, who do you think Gordon was with before he came uh, into our lives? Before he graced us with his own good graces? I think, um, Gordon maybe wasn't committed, actually, to one of the Daedric Princes. Or one of the dark Daedric Lords. I think maybe Gordon was actually sort of a freelance Daedra. You know? I think Gordon... Look at Gordon. I think you can tell something about the way he... He's sort of swagger. I think you can tell that, that Gordon was actually a fucking entrepreneur. Gordon was the ultimate entrepreneur. Look, you can practically see his beady little red eyes turning into dollar signs. As he's, as he's overwhelmed by the lust of greed. Wow. Gordon, you need to keep that under control. Because honestly, it, it'll get you in trouble, just like last time. That's why you're here. I know it, Gordon. I know what you fucking did. I know that you set up that fucking food cart. <laughs> Gordon was like a fry cook on, on a food cart. <laughs> what he would do, he would he would go around between all the different planes of oblivion. Oh, old Gordon in his stupid little getup. He had a little hat and everything. He had like a little red striped outfit. Oh, Gordon, he he was the he loved it. He loved going around. He he cooked up Daedra dogs. Oh, Gordon's famous Daedra dogs. Oh, he cooked them up and everybody loved him. All the fucking Daedric princes loved his fantastic shit. But then wouldn't you know it, fucking Boethia. Man, Boethia, the one who fucked 99 different people all at the same time to give birth to Amalexia. Boethia showed up and was like Gordon, get the fuck out of here. This shit ain't halal. 
fucking Boethia only eats halal food now from food carts, and Gordon was sad as shit. And because Gordon didn't know how to make halal food. And honestly, who the hell does? I don't know anything about halal food. All I know is that people talk about it a lot. And you know what? Gordon and I are in the same fucking boat there. So Gordon got fucking banished from uh, his non-plane of oblivion. He was just, you know, he was traveling back and forth. He was a traveler, a free spirit, delivering danger dogs. <laughs> poor fucking Gordon. He, he was real fucking down in the dumps and shit, and all of a sudden, one day, some idiot named Lyle Schnub just decided to put some stupid-ass enchantment on a shield. And bam, out comes old Gordon. And he somehow along the way, he lost his fantastic outfit. My god. Maybe one day, Boethia is gonna be real fucking pissed at us for what we've done. Or real fucking glad at us, because you know what? Boethia is kind of like a cunning son of a bitch like that, isn't he? Or she, I can't remember. I mean, maybe... Boethia is one of the the double ones, you know, who's who's kind of a little column A, a little column B. And you know what? I, I probably could see that, given the the fact that Boethia fucked 99 people. <laughs> what the f <laughs> What the hell? We've, we've learned all kinds of things uh, about the uh, the Daedric, uh, Daedric princesses this time. My god, they, they love those Daedra dogs. I think that's probably the, the greatest lore of all that we've learned so far. Look at this. There's a little tiny uh, Dwemer coin here. Goblet as well. Look at this. We should really be searching these even better. Look, we've we've been lax in our duties because we've been so distracted by Gordon's charms. Look at Gordon and his god awful spine. Good lord, Gordon. I don't know how you keep balanced. You must have like the core uh, athleticism. Your your core workout is real fucking intense because you can just support your humongous dumb alligator head. Oh shit! Look at all this. All right, check it out. We've got some more roly-poly robotos. Damn. You know what? I was so fucking glad uh, when Skyrim came out to see these dudes back in action. All the, um, I mean, of course, they weren't all, all like, the same looking and all that. They were a little fleshy looking almost. At least I thought they were. This, uh, obviously, this mod makes them look a little slightly different. But especially the spider bots, they looked kind of fleshy. But nonetheless, I was glad to see him back in Skyrim. Bring him back some of the weird-looking shit. Some of the weird-looking dudes. Because there weren't any of those, uh... Daedric Ruins. There's more, uh, little generic fantasy in, uh... Oblivion. Granted, you did have those, um... Those, uh... Titty spiders. Those spider tits. I mean, what was up with that? That was pretty wild, huh? I mean, I, I'm... They probably showed up in other games, but, uh... Man, that's all I can remember about... Oblivion is those those fucking banging tits. Wow! Maybe that's that's what Gordon longs for the most. Poor old Gordon misses him. Wow. Sorry, Gordon. You'll have to wait until uh, a few more years until the Oblivion crisis comes along. And then you'll get to see some banging spiders. Holy crap. Maybe I'll watch you bang 99 of them. But you know what, Gordon? I'm a man of honor, Gordon. Gordon, you're not even here. You're not even listening. You know what? We can't just do it willy-nilly. It's got to all be consensual, Gordon. That's what we're about. I don't know if you, if you've heard about this, but we're we're try I'm trying to make you turn over a new leaf, Gordon. That way, if you ever run into trouble with your uh, food cart business, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna be able to get back up on your feet through uh, you know just having your good wills about you. And people they respect that. I mean, maybe not the Daedric Prince uh, Boethia because you know I heard Boethia is a real fucking asshole, but. Hey, you never know, Gordon. Some, some, sometimes you find good in even the darkest of places. That's a, that's a real good lesson for you, Gordon. Jesus Christ, what? <laughs> 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 the fuck are we even talking about, man? We've uh, welcome to 2018, everybody. We've really gone fucking off the rails. If there was ever a time when we jumped the shark in Morrowind Mondays. Look no further than when we first got Gordon. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, have we have we been down here? Is this just Yeah, this just loops around so this is actually kind of a, a bit of a smaller dungeon, isn't it? And yeah, there's not much to look at here. This is a whole bunch of cogs and garbage, isn't there? I mean, I guess if we ever need any cogs That was one of the neat things in Skyrim as well as how you could melt down the uh, the actual uh, stuff the uh, the Dwemer sort of items. Oh, look, here we go. Yeah, this is a 
Oh, no, wait. No, this is just where Gordon is hanging out. Gordon? What the fuck? We've really fucking done it this time, haven't we? My god. Here, let's turn on the night eye. I think there's actually something up here on this little table. Nope, it's just some Dwemer goblets and mugs. Good lord. Now, you'd think that these uh, shelves and stuff would be designed more for dwarves. But, as it turns out, the dwarves weren't actually that short. I mean, we just fought a few of them. And, you know what? They're about the same height as a Bosmer. Or maybe even taller. They're, they actually aren't that tiny. They're not your typical kind of dwarves. In fact, maybe that's that's why you, you don't really tend to call them dwarves. Because it's a little insulting and extremely untrue. Extremely, extremely untrue. Man, look. it's It's got to be said, though, their ingenuity is off the charts because it's all still running today. Alright. Well, I guess it's time to head on back to old Vivic Land with, um... Our sweet blessing. Did we actually get the ebony mail? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I remember doing that one. I don't think you actually have to do, um, the, uh, the old freaking, uh, tribunal quest line to get that sucker. Because I seem to remember actually having that, uh, without having climbed the ranks. I think you can just come on out here after you've done uh, a few weird things in the world. Look at that. Resist magic at 20%, but also resist fire at 75%. Pretty damn good if you're like a Breton or someone who, someone else like an orc who has uh, inherent resistance. Look at this. Look. It's a winged harpy. You know what, Gordon? It's not a spider. I know you love the spiders. But check it out, Gordon. It's a winged twilight harpy. Look at Gordon. Oh, man. Gordon is not pleased. He's actually vomiting out hell. Good lord. Gordon's going to get his ass beat by this harpy. By this winged twilight. Look at... Oh shit, is Gordon actually gonna win? Fucking look at Gordon go. Too bad we can't train up Gordon and get him some sweet levels. Because look at this, Gordon's actually performing pretty damn well. I didn't think Gordon would last this long. But alas, Gordon has gotten in quite a few good hits. I don't think it's gonna be enough, especially with this freaking cliff race. Oh my god, Gordon actually slayed her! Wow! Holy shit, good job, Gordon. Wow, never cease to amaze. Good lord, you must have a fucking degree in kicking ass or something. Alright. Well, let's get the hell out of here and talk to old Dolor Serioni. This will probably take us to Molagmar, though. Let's see. Do you think Gordon comes with us when we teleport out of here? No. But he does sort of come with us. Gordon's... God, Jesus Christ, look at the shield. <laughs> Gordon's always with us, no matter what. Even, uh... Even when it seems like he's gone... All you gotta do is fucking look at the shield and, and believe. And just just say his name three times over. <laughs> he's like um he's like Beetlejuice or or the candy man. You just gotta say Gordon, 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 and bam, out comes Gordon, smelling like some hot danger dogs. Good lord. What a fucking speedy delivery, honestly. There with Gordon. <laughs> Alright, let's get out over here to Vivek. We make a special trip just for you. Same All way. right, we're back again. Here we are, fucking good old Vivic Land. My God, you know it was pretty damn easy for the last, uh, being the last uh, quest in the, the old quest line there for the Tribunal. I mean, geez, it's it was kind of a disappointment. We went through so many other more wild and wooly adventures for the Tribunal. We did a whole bunch of, uh, we solved some riddles. Remember that? We went to whole bunch of gigantic dungeons. Remember when we went to that big old underground one? My god. The, uh, the old sixth house, house, house base? Jesus Christ, what a tongue twister there for myself. But, uh, well, I guess that rounds it out. I mean, we've, we've still got a few. Remember, we, we left off that, uh, the one that has us attack the vampire stronghold, and we'll definitely get to that eventually. But for now, I think we're we're gonna continue holding that off until we get to really the end game area, just in case. You know, we don't want to take any unnecessary risks. But for now, let's turn it in and see what happens. Let's let's get our supreme advancement. Let's see. Um, let's see. Duties. There we go. Ebony mail. You must recover the ebony mail. Yep, I've got it. Have you found the ebony mail, Lyle? Yep, here it is. Ah, keep the ebony mail, Lyle. Treat it well and do good deeds when you wear it. You are the new patriarch. I have long wanted to retire from the politics of the temple and write another book of sermons. Oh, so it is him! I thought it was a different Serioni for some reason. Oh, man! Wow, well, maybe we'll steal it too in the future. 
Wow. I wonder if it shows if his um if his book shows up in any of the uh, other future games. That'd be pretty neat if it did. Oh well. Okay, let's see. Advancement. No. Nope. Yep, we're just the patriarch. Sure. Wait, am I the patriarch or the arch cannon? I mean, I guess both, huh? You are the arch cannon now, Lyle. I will retire from the politics of the temple and devote the rest of my life to writing. Wow. Retired and became a writer. All right, do the ordinators have anything neat to say? Faith, law, and justice. Walk on. Okay. Faith? Faith conquers all. Have faith in the law. Law? Theft, trespass, assault, foul murder, and contempt are serious crimes. Criminals must pay compensation or serve sentences of punitive labor. What about justice? No foul deed goes unpunished. No wickedness goes unseen. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That's some wickedness right there. Jeez. All right. Well, shit. Man, with the, uh... Let's consult our journal here. Serioni thanked me for bringing him the ebony mail, but said that I should keep it and do good deeds. I am the new arch cannon of the temple. Wow. Holy shit. Well, you know what? Long ass time ago. Back, um... Back before we, we even ever had thoughts of freaking old, uh... Gator Guy Gordon over there. Well, we said that we would do the... Tribunal Temple questline before we start up the main questline. And you know what? I see no better way to start off the new year than to start off on the main questline finally, which is actually a questline that I've never actually completed. I've never actually finished the main questline. You probably remember me saying that, but just in case you, you, you forgot, there it is. You know what? All my shame is on display, and you know what? We're, we're a shameful bunch here, Gordon and I. Fucking, look at us. What a fucking pair. Hot damn. All right. Well, let's, <laughs> let, let's go on off to old, uh, gosh, where the fuck were we? We, it was, to, we had to go back to old Caius Cassades, didn't we? Let's see, quests. Oh, God, look. Boethius quest. Wow, what did Boethia want us to do? I spoke to the Khajiit Maik, and he gave me information on a shunk, sunken shrine to Boethia off the coast near Hla Ode. It's difficult, difficult to know whether or not this is true. This Khajiit seems to have a lot of ridiculous information. Oh, shit! Man! What if it's just some weird, like, den of iniquity there? In this sh sunken shrine. Good lord, I keep wanting to call it a shrunken sign, but that is definitely not what it's called. Alright, let's see. Um, hmm. The Dwemer's Bone? <laughs> what? Balin Adrano has asked me to do a job for him. He would like me to place the bone of a... Oh, yeah. I remember that. That guy seems pretty fucked up. All right. Good lord. Do we not have a quest yet for a... Uh... Okay. Well, then we must be at the... Um, we make a special The stage in the, the main quest where, where we just told old uh, Caius Cassades. Do you call him Caius Cassades or Cassades? I've always called him Cassades, and that's probably not the correct way to pronounce it, honestly. But you know what? Old hi old habits die hard. Real hard. We make a special. Alright. Let's head on over here. He asked us to get a little experience, but you know what? We've come back and we're uh <laughs> we're the head of the fucking Redoran house Redoran, and we're the head of the temple. And you know what? That's pretty damn fucking good. And we've also got Gordon with us, and I think Caius Cassini is about to shit his pants when he sees Gordon. Look out, Caius! We're coming in! Me and Gordon! What do you think? Remember when we would dump stuff in here? My god, it's been a long-ass time. I was almost half expecting to still see some old dumps lying around in here, but no. Alright, Caius. What's up? We finally... Oh, man. Yeah, that's right, Caius. I agree. Gordon is one hot dude. And, you know what? So are we. We're looking pretty fucking snazzy ourselves with this sweet-ass shield. All right, Caius. Let's see. Are you here to discuss your orders, Lyle? Or is there something else you want? All right, yeah. Let, that's right. We're back. Ready for orders? Good. <laughs> Go talk to Hasfat Antabolus at the Balmora Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about the Nerevarine secret cult and the Sixth House secret cult. You'll have to do him a favor first. Probably an ugly favor, but do it. Then get the information from Antibolus and report back to me. Uh-oh. Antibolus is going to have us, like, watch as he bangs 99 people. 
by the way, Hasfat is a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education. And I have a few history books in here. Help yourself, you're welcome to them. No point in being part of history if you're too ignorant to understand it. Wow, okay. I guess we'll check in with, ha with Hasfat, and maybe we'll round this out by reading some of these history books. Look, I don't even know where these history books are. Perhaps we already took them. Maybe we just stole them from old Caius. I can't even fucking remember. Maybe this is the, the only book that he's talking about? This one right here? Jeez, right next to his skooma pipe. Okay. Well, I guess I guess when we come back, we'll read about that. But for now, we gotta head on over to old Hasfat. My god, remember when we joined the Fighters Guild and helped, uh... What's her name with her pillows? But never did fucking anything else for him? <laughs> Good lord. I mean, to be fair, it's a pretty iconic quest, huh? Pretty iconic moral and quest helping old what's her butt with her pillows and the rats and all that. Alright, let's quick save in here. Oh man. I'm getting weird sort of feeling of nostalgia. Remember when we would come in here and we would take naps? And oh my gosh, there was a guy stuck inside of the bed? Wow. Alright, Gordon. It's it's important that you come along and learn learn some history too. Look at Gordon, he's fucking eager as hell. All right. If you care to talk, Hasfat, you got to tell me all about this stuff. Good day, apprentice. So you're with Caius, eh? And Caius wants information. Of course, there's a this for that involved. I require a favor first, and then I'll tell you what you want to know. Oh, great. There are Dwemer ruins nearby called Arkenthand. I need you to run over there and find me a little cube with a circular design and some symbols on one side. It's called a Dwemer Puzzle Box. Bring me back the Dwemer Puzzle Box, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Alright, what about the Dwemer Puzzle Box? The little cube I'm looking for is about the size of a fist. Maybe a little bit bigger. Oh no, he wants to shove it up his ass. Oh no, what a real puzzle. <laughs> it will be made of a coppery metal with a circular design and symbols on one side and some lined marks on the other sides. That's all I want. That little cube. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Anything else about the favor? Right, as I said, get me the Dwemer puzzle box from Arkthand. Arkthand. And I'll tell you what you want to know. Okay, well, how about some Morrowind history? You know what? I do, I've never heard of this Morrowind place. We just got here. We don't really know anything. Oh, look. On Morrowind has been added to our inventory. I won't bore you blathering about history. That's what Caius is for. Well, I mean, he, he told us to come over here. But if you're really interested, try On Morrowind, the Imperial Province, by Aramanwe of Sunhold. I have an extra copy you can have. What an adventurer like you really needs is a sense of current events. Who hates who? Where's trouble brewing? That's where opportunity lies for an outlander like you. Alright, current events. The great houses hate each other. Huh, really? I, I would never know! I wouldn't know anything about that! Theft, murder, assassination, secret raids, standard stuff. The temple is trying to kill off a rebellious faction called the Dissident Priests. Huh, never heard of the temple! The, the, the who? The Ashlander nomads raid each other, attack traders and pilgrims. A secret cult is killing off Imperial citizens. All bad enough. The real problem, though, is the blight. Monsters and diseases. The natives say it comes from Red Mountain. It's been a local problem for years. But lately, it's gotten badly out of control. Alright. Um, let's see. Can we ask about anything else? Nope. Duplicate answer. There we go. Maybe Sixth House. Ooh. Do you have to... You have a favor to do first, then we can talk about the Sixth House. Okay, fair enough. Ooh, let's ask about Arkenthand. The old Dwemer ruins at Arkenthong are extensive on the surface and underground. Head south out of town past the Siltstrider port, then cross bridges over the Odai River. At the signpost, head north towards Caldera. Immediately on the right, see a signpost for Molagmar. Turn right and head uphill on an old road to cross an ancient Dwemer bridge over Foyada Mamea. The entrance to Arkenthond is on the east side of the Foyada, South of the bridge. Turn a crank on a pipe nearby to open the doors. My god, I forgot how wordy he was with the directions. 
Good thing I just remember exactly where that place is. I'm pretty sure we've gone by it quite a few times, in fact. Foyata means Fire River in the native Ashlander tongue. The deep, ash-dark ravines which run down from the Red Mountain volcano are called Foyata. The lava from Red Mountain is very fluid, and it runs almost like water. During an eruption, fire rivers run down the mountain, clearing the ravines of vegetation. Because they have good footing, good footing are clear of brush, and run long distances, the natives use them like roads. Yeah, good thinking. All right, I guess we should read this book and learn some much-needed uh, history on Morrowind. All right. Good lord, it's it's a it's a fair length, isn't it? <clears throat> Let me get a drink here. <clears throat> on Morrowind, the Imperial Province. By Eramanwe of Sunhold. Is that a, um, Altmer, maybe? After the conquest of Hammerfell, Imperial legions massed along the northeastern borders of Cyrodiil, and invasion fleets prepared in Skyrim. Initially, though the Imperial legions and navy were widely considered undefeatable, House Indoril and the Temple Hierarchy proposed to resist to the death. Redoran and Drace stood by Indoril, with Telvanni remaining neutral. Lalu proposed accommodation. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> contrived, contrived border incidents in Blackmarsh ended inconclusively, but the swampy terrain did not favor Legion and Navy coordination. Against the Legion's massed west of Silgrad Tower and Kragenmoor, and the Legion's west of Blacklight and... Cormaris view, Morrowind had pitifully small militias, stiffened by small companies of Redoran mercenaries and elite units of house nobles and temple ordinators and armagers. Further complicating matters was the refusal of Indoril, Drace, Lalu, and Telvanni to garrison the western borders. Indoril and Drace proposed, rather than defend the western border, instead to withdraw to the interior and fight a guerrilla war. With Hlalu advocating accommodation and Telvanni remaining neutral, Redoran therefore faced the prospect of, sta of standing alone against the Empire. The situation changed radically when Vivek appeared in person in Vivek City to announce his negotiation of a treaty with Emperor Tiber Septim reorganizing Morrowind as a province of the Empire, but guaranteeing all rights of faith and self-government. A shocked temple hierarchy, which apparently had not been consulted, greeted and greeted the announcement with awkward silence. Indoril swore they would resist to the death with the loyal support of Drace, while Redoran, grateful for a graceful excuse to avoid facing the legions unsupported, joined with Hlalu in welcoming the agreement. Telvanni, seeing which way the wind blew, joined with Hlalu and Redoran in supporting the treaty. Nothing is known of the circumstances of the personal meeting between Septim and Vivek, or where it took place, or the preliminaries which must have preceded the treaty. The public reason was to protect identities of the agents involved. In the West... Speculation has centered around the role of Zurin Arctis in brokering the agreement. In the East, rumors suggest that Vivek offered Numidium to aid in the conquest of the Altmer and Somerset Isle in return for significant concessions to preserve self-rule, house traditions, and religious practices in Morrowind. Man, a lot of this is actually pretty, uh... I mean, I guess, I guess you would expect, because it is a book they gave us uh, during the main quest, but it's pretty vital to really understanding uh, where, where you stand uh, during the main quest and, and all the, a lot of the, the things that occur later on. It gives you some background to why, why people did what they did. The Lord High Counselor of the Grand Council, an Indoril, in, uh, refused to accept the treaty and refused to step down. He was assassinated and replaced by a Hlalu. How Slalu took the opportunity to settle some old scores with, uh, with House Indoril and a number of local councils changed hands in bloody coups. More blood was shed in these inter-house struggles than against the Imperial Legions during Morrowind's transition 
from an independent nation to a province of the empire. The generals of the legions had dreaded an invasion of Morrowind. The Dunmer were widely regarded as the most dreadful and fanatic foes, further inspired by their temple and clan traditions. The generals had not grasped the political weaknesses of Morrowind, which Emperor Tiber Septim recognized and exploited. Kind of an asshole. At the same time, given the tragic depopulation and destruction experienced by the other provinces conquered by Septim, and the swift and efficient assimilation of Morrowind into the imperial legal systems and economy with relatively small impact on lower or upper classes of Morrowind citizens, the tribunal also deserves some credit for recognizing the hopelessness of Morrowind's defense and the chance of gaining important concessions at the treaty table by being the first to offer peace. By contrast, many Indoril nobles chose to commit suicide. Man, going back to um the old feudal Japan references, huh? In uh, of Morrowind's culture, right? Rather than submit to the empire, with the result that the house was significantly weakened during this period of transition, guaranteeing that they would lose much of their influence and power to House Lalu whose influence and power was waxing with its enthusiastic accommodation with the Empire. The temple hierarchy was more skillfully managed their loss of face, remaining aloof from political struggles and earning the goodwill of the people by concentrating on their economic, educational, and spiritual welfare. Wow, holy shit. Actually pretty complicated and well thought out, huh? Alright. That was, um... I remember that being one of the, the complaints of, uh, of Oblivion was uh, the cultural presence of all the uh, different uh, races, all the races coming together. It was supposed How to be a big deal friend. and there to be a lot of strife of everyone living in such close proximity and having all these uh, culture clashes, so to speak. Should we head back and talk to Caius or just get ready to fucking run on out here? Out of here? Hmm. Fuck it. Let's run on over to... Uh, Good old Arkenthan. We can check in with Caius once we get done here with all this. Let's see. It should be just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Let's let's wait until it's bright out, though, so we can uh, bathe in the beautiful sunlight of fucking Balmora land. Oh, great. What? <laughs> Fuck me. Always happens, huh? All right. Well, we're doing it. It's bright enough to be able to see, huh? Good lord. Look at Gordon. Fuck. <laughs> Good lord. Gordon is fucking hopeless, isn't he? All right, let's see. Does it actually mark it on our map? Let's see, is that, no. But that should be it right there. I can see it right over the horizon. Here we go. Man, it feels weird uh, finally getting back on the main quest, huh? I mean, I guess in saying that, this is usually the way it goes, isn't it? Usually you end up, uh, when Caius tells you that, you just get so wrapped up in a side, uh, story arc that, man, you just never fucking come back to it until you've done God knows what and maybe even screwed over uh, how the main quest progresses. Good lord. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this You're fucking guy. Mine. Oh, man. Oh, no, he's got a bony man. Get him, Gordon. Fuck him up. Oh, come on, Gordon. There you go. Oh my god, what a fucking chump. Alright. Good job, Gordon. Snowy Granius. Okay, well, he doesn't really have that much good in the way of loot. Too bad we can't equip Gordon. Man, he would look fucking snazzy in that iron chest. Alright, we got a diamond. Some more scrap metal we should probably dump at some point. But nonetheless, I don't think we'll find that much loot inside this place if I remember correctly. Oh, jeez. The places are really coming ass. Good thing we got Gordon on the fucking lookout here. Alright. Oh, yeah, here it is. Ugh, and a lit. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. The, the little pipey thing. Here we go. Dwarven crank. There we are. Oh, it's a little symbol there. Arkenthan Hall of Centrifuge. Now we're just locked in for fucking ever, huh? <laughs> the fucking doors just automatically seal behind us. Alright. Well, I suppose 
when next we come back, we will uh, finally plunder the ancient ruins of uh, Arkenthan and uh, begin fulfilling the fucking ancient prophecies as have been foretold. My god, and uh, you know what? Maybe we've already fulfilled the greatest prophecy of all, and that's the, uh, the comeuppance of old... Gator Guy Gordon. My god, what a styling and profi profiling guy. Jesus, he looks... What an idiot. <laughs> but he's our idiot! We love him! Good old Gordon. My god. He's there and back again. <laughs> Till next time. Peace. Peace.